Today we are going to look at our this special plant in Africa every day. Now I'm visiting my friend and I saw so many weed on his uh, in his compound. I decided like, oh, can you imagine? I don't know the name of most of this plant, and I decided that now let me make a video showing you the kind of these are weeds. They were not planted by anybody except the bitter leaf. Aside from the bitter leaf, all others, they are weeds. So, I'm going to show you and their names. I'll be using, I'll be making use of uh, a Google app called uh, Google Lens for the identification of all these weeds stroke plants. So, I'll be identifying all of them one by one. A lot of them. I've checked some of them and their names, believe me. It almost, it almost broke my teeth. Some of them I could only find their scientific name. I could not find their their common name. And I, once again, I'm sorry for the for the background noise. That is our generator you are hearing there. Believe me, whether it is our Yoruba name for all this plant, I don't know. They're not even their their English name. And uh, now, for your information, Yoruba is my mother tongue. I don't know what all these plants are called. Many of them, I'm not even sure if they have Yoruba name. Not sure of that. All right, I'm starting with this special plant. Plant vegetable. Okay, you can see that it is hairy. I don't know what you call that. Now, look at the seed. And according to the Google Lens, this plant is called Lepoti Estruans. Lepoti Estruans. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Please, if I butcher the uh, uh, the pronunciation, please don't be angry with me. I'm not good at all this scientific pronunciation. Not good at all. So you can see that it's an African plant and it's, uh, it's common here. Yes, it's common. I don't know. Oh, let me say, I don't know if this has any medicinal value. I have no idea. I always love watching atomic shrimps uh, plant. Uh, sorry, video when is identifying the plant available uh, in this region in uh, in Europe. I always love it so. <laughs> about I've developed an interest in making my own video to identify to my audience some of the plants that are available right here in nigeria or let me or in africa if you can see that now this is our an example one of the plants that is available now look at this you can see that something like uh like a seed or a small shoot all right it's tall and this is called a califa indica i don't know if i get that correctly it's called uh, a califa indica that is what this plant is called. You can see that. And according to Wikipedia, it has medicinal use. But I have no idea what it's used for. But I intend to know what this is used for. So many plants here. This is also a califa indica right here. Then on the left side of the plant, we have gale of the wind. This is called gale of the wind. Now look at the leaf. Look at that. Now in Yoruba land, in Yoruba land, uh, whenever these leaves, whenever something like uh, they, they, they move close to each other, we assume that uh, the plant is sleeping. So we assume that the plant, this is called Gale of the Wind. Please, if you have any question about any of this plant, please let me know. I'll surely answer your question. What amazes me is a collection of different types of plants that can be found that are available in this in this compound without anyone planting either of them. So that uh, amazes me. So I want to talk about these special plants here. I'm used to all these plants. I'm used to them. But it can be you can be surprised that I have no idea what they are called. Like according to the Google Lens, this one is our uh, livid amaranth. 
livid armor round. That is what this is called. You can see the leaf that has been bastardized by, by a parasite. The parasite has bastardized it. There was a time that I, I used to think the this fruit 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 is thorn. <laughs> when I was a kid, I thought it's a thorn, but I was afraid to touch it to confirm it this was a thorn. It was a thorn or not? <laughs> now look at that. So we have livid amarantha. Then behind the livid amarantha, we have the smooth pigweed. We have smooth, we have smooth pigweed. Can you imagine that? Never heard of that in my life. Smooth pigweed. That is what this plant is called. You can see that very close. Smooth, smooth pigweed. Now look at that. I still have it right here. This is so, I find this very, very interesting. Very interesting and exciting. Another weed, special one. Look at the way this one is out. Uh, it's shining, it's shimmering. Shimmering. We have it here too. Small one, and we have it here. Uh, please, if you like my videos, like my video, and now uh, subscribe to my channel. If you want to become my patron, the link to do that will be in the description of the video. Please support my channel by becoming my patron. Thank you very much. Now this one is called phytognosis. This see this weed, I'm sure this plant, in this case they are weeds. You can see this. Out of all, all other all other plants stroke weed that I've covered in this video, this is the commonest one among them and it is very very easy to uproot very very easy to to uproot you can see that <laughs> look at this right diagnosis this is a brand new experience for me never studied any plant struggle with before all right, if you have any question for me, please let me know in the comment section below. I will surely go through your questions. Thank you so much for your support. I'll see you next time.